Hey guys, welcome to Magic Behind the Magic, uh, the vlog where you get to see what goes on behind a real life magician's life. Uh, I'm Steve, that's me, I'm the real magician. So uh, let's see what happened this week. It's been a pretty cool week. Uh, nothing overly exciting, but a lot of uh, projects were topped off and finished, which is nice. So let's have a quick look at that and see what happened. So it's a uh, Monday afternoon now. This morning I had to duck into Melbourne to uh, get the kids' birth certificates so we can get some passports organised for them. So this afternoon, before that, I got up very early this morning and sent out some emails to all the people who had booked the balloon workshop that I do um, in the last school holiday period, just letting them know that I'm open up for bookings again for the next school holiday period. Right now, I am collating a new list of people, of, of vacation care and holiday program people that I haven't uh, connected with before, and I'm just going to compile probably about 15 to 20 uh, of those, and then I will send them all a, an email that I send out each uh, school holiday period. What this does, it just generates interest, um, and you usually you know, get five or six bookings from that, um, and with this uh, particular uh, workshop that I do it generally gets rebooked quite easily so uh, not every school holidays by the same people but over a period of time so each year it's, it's growing bigger and bigger uh, last so this January we just had was probably the biggest um, or it was the biggest I've ever had I had like three weeks straight of, of these workshops um, which generates a good income during a period which is otherwise fairly quiet including with birthday shows so um, <clears throat> yeah, just doing that now for the next school holidays, which will be in April, so yeah. So compiling these lists pretty much is just uh, googling for uh, words that relate to what you're looking for. for in, this, in this case, uh, let me just tell you, I'm actually searching primary school holiday programs in Melbourne. Um, and you just dig deep, like really deep. You, you find that there's a lot of uh, corporates, companies that sort of have a stronghold on lots of different spaces. Um, and one of those in particular I don't deal with because they're always trying to cut costs and they're very difficult to deal with, so I just don't worry about them. Um, but there's lots of others and there's lots of private schools and councils that do it. So I just sit there and like I'm up to page, uh, where are we? I'm up to page eight so far on, on that search for Google in Google and um, yeah just putting together I just go through and look at them and go okay are they are they what I'm looking for um, and if they are I just copy down their details into a spreadsheet and then I'm just gonna send out an email to them so it takes me you know maybe two hours tops to compile the list um, and then the email is already written so I just send the email same email each time it's very generic um, but what it does do is generate some uh, some bookings and some incomes. Hey guys, so today's Tuesday. Uh, I spent the morning <laughs> uh, not working again. I was up at the school, uh, swimming sports run today, so I went up to help out with that and watch my kids have a good swim. Um, so today I am going to continue on uh, working on my uh, PI website, my primary incursions website. It needs lots of work. I started on it yesterday. Uh, yesterday was good. I finished off uh, all the mail outs for the balloon workshops for the school holidays. Already have one booking just come in. Um, so that's sort of they sort of come in over the next week or two and then I usually get a couple more a little bit later on depending on how it goes. Uh, so yeah, looking good. Um, yeah, so today primary incursions website. Lots of work to do on that, sort of revamping it a little bit, giving it a fresh look and fixing up a lot of stuff in it that was really bad copy, to be honest, like really bad copy, embarrassingly bad copy. Um, <clears throat> and once I've got that sorted, I will uh, be emailing out to all the preschools and schools that I dealt with last year um, and just letting them know what I'm offering for this year. Okay, guys, just got the uh, package from the post office. So these are the new flyers that I worked out last week for the um, kinders. So this is going out. What I do is that I'm on weekends while I'm driving around doing birthday shows, whenever I see a kinder, I pull in, I write a little note on the back and I drop these into their letterboxes. 
um, and it pays off quite well actually so there you go that's that's you can see it there so I've got three shows for the Kenders um, <coughs> same three shows I used last year but they worked really well so I'm gonna stick with that for this year hey guys it's like 4 30 in the morning I'm just gonna get up early to some stuff this morning and that means that I'm gonna miss another half a day and I really want to get this website sorted by the end of the day so I figured I'd get up and put a few hours in before I run out of time of course the cat and the dog Care what time it is, they want some breakfast, but I'm gonna put the kettle on first. So <clears throat> it's 1:30, it's lunchtime, but I'm gonna keep working through today. Um, so as you saw, I got up very early, did a bit of work, um, had to disappear pretty early on. Um, went and helped dad with some stuff. <clears throat> Came back, I got back a lot earlier than I expected, which was good, but I'm still uh, pumping through this. Uh, website that I'm working on. I've changed a lot of that, a lot of new pages, um, really sort of making it hopefully a lot more friendly uh, to the end user who um, are a multiple group, uh, could be preschools, primary schools, vacation care or holiday program groups, libraries. So I'm really trying to sort of hone it to each of their uh, needs um, by creating new pages that they go to and then from there they can search um, everything that's relevant for them so yeah um, sort of get, I'm, I'm happy with the pace I'm making but it's long today is Wednesday uh, <clears throat> so I really want to have this finished uh, like early Friday so that when I start putting out those flyers on the weekends for the preschools again um, <clears throat> I'll be happy that they're going somewhere plus I do have a few libraries that um, I've promised I will let them know once it's done so they can have a look at it because um, they're interested in some of the shows too. So yeah, it's... Um... Hey guys, it's Thursday. <clears throat> it's a bit of a scorcher today, but uh, I will stay inside as much as possible. So uh, last night I went to bed pretty early. I was pretty tired, but today uh, back into it. Still working on the website, but just out in the yard now. Just got to water some of the veggies and uh, look after my son's guinea pig, which I always look after. So let's go and do that right now. So I just want to quickly show you though uh, what I do each day and how I sort of track my day. All right, so if we come up here, you can see here I have a whiteboard. Da da, whiteboard. Uh, and on that whiteboard, I have today a list of things that I need to do today, and I have to do, which is a list of things that I need to do. So each day I put on things that I need to do today, and if I ever think of something I need to add to my to-do list, I add that there. Uh, I take things from there and I put it to there. I might take it for an hour and put it to there. So I might just say, for instance, uh, writing balloon science. That's a very, it's a big ongoing project. So every now and then I'll just go one hour of writing balloon science or two hours or half a day, whatever it is. Okay, so uh, and then each day as I go through it, I just squeeze it off. So uh, for example, check over due accounts. That has been done, that's done. And also, uh, work on PI website, well that's what I'm doing right now, uh, list current preschools in email app, that's to come once I've finished the website. So that's my uh, end goal for today, that's pretty much been all week actually, Those that's, that's sort of been on there all week, that's fine. Um, some of this stuff over here um, <clears throat> will come over there tomorrow, actually no probably won't, you know, tomorrow's Friday, tomorrow Friday is when I start setting for my weekend shows um, and I'll probably do a bit of lecture work for Kids Entertainer Academy as well. That's what I do. So there you go. Hey guys, so today is Friday, yay, as most people would say. Um, 
So, and uh, as I said yesterday, it's a bit of a cruisier day today. Um, the main things that I wanted to achieve this week, I have done. Uh, I've just got a couple of things I'll show you in a sec what I'm going to do today. Um, <clears throat> but it's a lot cooler too, which is always nice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get out in the garden actually. I always plan to try and at least have one day during the week where I get out and do some of the maintenance stuff because if I don't, the house would fall down. My wife would not be happy. So let's just go and have a quick look and see what we are going to do today. You can see here, I have already written on the board today. So let's have a look. First up, we have check van gas bottle. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to spend two hours on the lecture. Uh, I do that when I've got an ongoing project that's, that's big. I mark it in with a time frame, um, unless I've got nothing else to do that day. But I just feel that like if I look at it and go two hours, that's doable. I can do that, we can get through it. So I do that, so it's a two hours straight, no interruptions, you just bury your head and go for it. It's a really good way to, to get into big projects. Um, also, I wanna just go over and check uh, the website that I've been working on. There's a couple of new forms I added, or one new form that I added. Um, I just wanna make sure that that really works. And uh, Then I've got <coughs> some uh, clear the fence of vines, so out the back here, around the side. Uh, we've got some trees, but they're getting, f well, the neighbors got trees, but the trees are getting full of vines and they're like, we sort of share the branches, but they're getting pulled over towards our house and starting to knock the fence down a little bit. So I'm going to fix that up, uh, get out there today, get rid of all the vines and trim the trees back a little bit so that we don't have to buy a new fence. And also, uh, my usual Friday thing down the bottom here is call weekend shows and prep for weekends. So I always, uh, call my shows a day or two before the event or the party just to confirm everything's going to plan uh, so that I don't get there and find that they've cancelled it you know or anything like that uh, also that way I confirm the time I'll be there um, and it's just a reassurance for them that I'm on my way so and I'm gonna be there so I do that and also of course I've got to prep for the weekend so that sort of you know it's not a big job but uh, it's of course very very important Okay, so uh, yeah, it was, as you saw, it was pretty cool. We got through a bit this week. It was nice uh, and fairly cruisy. Yesterday, being Friday, I uh, finished off uh, working out outside, which was nice. We're doing some gardening, getting the pines off the fence. I didn't get everything off my to-do list for the day, um, but I got most of it done, which was important. And I didn't even manage to preset for the weekend, but as my first show today is uh, early afternoon, I figured I could do that this morning anyway, so that's fine. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's all of that week, um, as you saw. So I managed. So uh, don't forget, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more, go down there and subscribe. Um, otherwise, we'll catch you uh, next time, hopefully, and uh, let me know if there's anything that you would like to see that I do, or you wanted to uh, me discuss any ideas or anything like that. But until next time, remember, stay true to your magic and work hard. Cheers.